Happening today, the St. John's County School Board is working to address and prevent overcrowding in schools. That means hundreds of students could wind up going to different schools this fall. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews joins us live. And Brianna, this may not be the last time some students make a move. That's right. In addition to new school zones, which the board is discussing today, the district is also planning to build several new schools over the years. Now, this is all because of how big the county is just booming right now. Earlier this year, the board released a list of nine proposed changes to school maps. It rejected two last month because there wasn't enough support for either. Each change moves a block of homes from one school zone and adds them to a less crowded school zone. The options are not mutually exclusive, so the board could approve any combination. One of the proposed changes includes moving 182 students in the Oak Ridge Landing and Durban Creek Estates neighborhood out of Freedom Crossing Academy to Patriots Oaks Academy. The board admits these changes are not a permanent solution. The county has added more than 13,000 new students in the last 10 years. And in the past year, the student population has grown 7%. The county expects to spend about $193 million on three new K-8 through schools and hopes to start getting bids for construction in the coming months. In the long term, the district expects to build 19 new schools and expand two others over the next 20 years. And this morning's hearing begins in less than half an hour at nine. And we, of course, expect to hear from a lot of parents. Now we have the full list of the proposals on our website, newsforjax.com. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.